What is up guys, Damage Brew here, welcome back to an awesome video. As you can see by the title, I've bought myself a brand new car. Well, technically not brand new, I have one owner, but I'll get into that a little bit later on. Welcome guys, I have bought myself a Toyota 86 GTS. As you can see, the sun is bright, it's shining into my new car. It actually had one previous owner to me only done pretty much only done 24,000 kilometers when I purchased this car and this is a 2013 model so which isn't too bad for a car that's only done 24 k's 24,000 k's so let, look at that awesome dash that's a race car dash I know you guys are probably thinking what you bought a car yes I did buy a car this car cost me around about a little over twenty seven and a half thousand dollars that's including the extended three year warranty which is around about thirteen hundred and the alarm system that was put in which is around about seven hundred and fifty something dollars so the pain in the butt but I was able to have to do it. This is another reason why guys I haven't actually been uploading a lot because I've been really really busy with work. I've had this car for about a week now. I really wanted to record earlier, but <clears throat> I've been really, really busy with work. I know I keep saying really, 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 really a lot, but get used to it. Furthermore, this is where my money is gone, pretty much, from my pay for at work. So I actually really absolutely love this car. The steering on this car is absolutely astounding. It's really sharp acceleration. You take off really, really quick really love this car gonna love it for many many years to come so I'm gonna show you around in this cockpit right here at the moment so let's get to it so we got the frameless of rear view mirror as you can see, as you can see I'm using my phone to record this because I am poor and I don't have enough money to buy myself a camera nah that's not true and it's raining outside I'm not sure you can see that it's raining so we come down, we have an inbuilt radio slash GPS sat nav. Didn't come with a reverse camera, which is unfortunate, but oh well. The sound system in this car is really good. It could be better, to be honest, in my opinion, but I'm happy with it. No reverse camera, as I said, as you come down here, you, this over here will display your time. How many passengers right there? We'll run past it. It's got climate control, it's got the temperature. With all the different knobs so as you can see you can turn it around not the best car review but this is showing how I bought my car six speed manual this is really awesome off-road stuff still get used to reading to some of these what these do a manual will have it heated seats guys heated seats how awesome is that so we come down over here we've got the little fiberglass Texture, it's not actually fiberglass, so that's this car be worth a lot more. Texture looks really nice. Obviously, with the windows over there, you can feel like a little big cup over there if you wanted to. Nice leather seats with red stitching along the side, which really makes the car really stand out a lot. And now, if the audio doesn't come out clear enough for this video, I'll actually probably re edit me talking with you guys, but anyway, cup holders, you want, you want to drink anyone? As for the back, I just got a message for low battery, I'm not sure if this will record over it, but the back is very, very tiny. They say these cars, the 86s, do not have much leg room in the back, and I say they don't. So, if you're tall, this isn't a car for you. I am quite tall, but I don't really have any passengers that often. It's alright. Pretty much. One thing for the 86, they don't have a back wiper. So if it gets really, really dirty, you have to go out and manually wipe it. But other than that, it's pretty cool. I'm not sure if you can see me. Hello there. Hello. So this is really my car. This is money that I bought with my money from work. So I hope you guys are happy. I know you guys are probably going to go, Oh, he bought a new car with his YouTube money. Let's get things straight. Wintercraft is the only channel that I make money off of and it's not even anything. I just do it for a hobby and my main channel, I don't even make any any money off it at all. I just do it as a hobby because I like making videos like this one for this car. So, I hope you guys enjoy the video. Uh, can't talk. 
Let's get, in, get into more of the car. So obviously you got your wipers, you got your indicators, and you got your lights. You do it with your one minute. You got your cruise control, which is astounding that there's no actually no buttons on the steering wheel, which is really happy because when you turn, you can like put your hand anywhere around the steering wheel without having to worry about pressing some buttons you don't really want to press on some vehicles. So if you're wondering what the GTS is, this is the upper class model. You got the better dash, better interior, six speed manual with the uh, Touchpad GPS installed with a radio, which is suave. At the moment, so at the moment you have only owned this car for about a week. At the moment, still would have filled with petrol, but a bit of fuel type of petrol at the moment. Hmm. So let's go outside and see the car in its true full glory, shall we? Don't mind the sounds. Oh. So, guys, let's take a look around the front. The Boxer logo. This car has a 2.0 liter Boxer engine. Custom number plays very very soon. It's your badge. Sorry for bad commentary, just trying to get the right angles. It's really windy at the moment. Very, very nice rims. So if we zoom in a little bit more, those there is rims that are dope. Is that what people say these days? I'm not sure. Alright, let's go. Look at the back. Look at the back side of the car. So as for the rear lights, they look pretty well. Some people don't like the rear lights on the 86, but in my opinion, it really fits well with this type of color of car. Dual exhaust system. Pretty nice. It's very, it sits very low and I really like it. So I'll show you the boot space in this car. So if we just press this little button right here, let's hold it. I'm not sure you can hear that, but that's the sound of the boot opening. So let's go check that out. So guys, not the best of boot space. You can probably, probably fit a body in here, but I wouldn't advise doing that. Comes with a tire and puncture. Some type of kit or something like that. Forgot exactly what it's called. But there's no actually no spare tire, so if you get a flat tire, you're screwed. Oh well. That is it for this car. So anyway guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you in a little bit. So, peace out.